In this short video, I will show you how you can turn a negative into a positive using just Capture One. Hey guys, Quentin here, and we are going to work with Capture One today uh, to turn a negative, like the one we've got in front of us, into a positive picture that we can actually use. To do that, we're going to head over to the Exposure tab, which is right here, and then look down until we find Levels. If you cannot find it, simply right-click anywhere and Add tool until you find levels, which is here. Now, with the levels, what we're gonna do is simply indicate to Capture One that our black point should be white, because like you can see, the hair, which are meant to be black, are currently somewhat white. They are a bit orange, but uh, they are essentially white. So to invert the levels, all we have to do is input the value that is currently white in the black and the black in the white. So 255 for the black and zero for the white. And there we go. We can bring that back into the tab and we have a positive. Now, I know you're gonna say that it's not really a positive, uh, at least it's not really clean as the colors are not perfect, far from it actually. So we're gonna go back to the color tab, which is that little one, and we're gonna do go uh, to white balance. In the white balance tool, we are simply gonna use the, the the clever and the simple pick white balance uh, color picker. And you can activate it by using W on our keyboard and we're gonna place it on somewhere that should be white, which is the border. I know it's black, but actually it's white because it's a negative. So everything that appears black is or it was actually white. So let's pick on that and we've got something much better, don't we? Right, so now we can go back to the exposure tab and adjust furthermore if we want to. Uh, let's say I want to boost the contrast. Well, I can do that. I can change the exposure if I wish to do so, but I wouldn't encourage you to do that. You should rather shoot tethered and adjust the exposure when you are shooting. Because now, if you adjust the exposure, the exposure you're going to lose a bit of information. Uh, not so much, but um, you could get it better while shooting. Now, uh, you can use the curve if you want to further adjust the colors and the contrast. You could as well just use the uh, color edition tool from Capture One, such as the color balance, which works great for color correction. And uh, well, when you are happy with it, just head over to the style and preset here and click the plus button. That's going to open a new window, which is called save style, and you can activate anything that you want to include in your style. So anything that you have changed on the picture should be now here uh, already enabled. So let's say we change contrast. Well, as you can see, it's already activated, levels the same and white balance as well. All the rest is currently disabled. So uh, if you didn't want to include, for example, contrast, you could just uncheck that and you're good to go. So let's leave it activate for now and click save. You simply have to give it a name. Do not change the folder. It wouldn't make sense to change it. So leave it in styles where uh, Capture One indicates you should register uh, that preset and uh, that will work. That will do everything for you. Now, uh, let's call it Portra 160 and uh, scan dash one because I've already got one that has its name, as you can see here, there and style and preset now you can find user preset portrait scan one i've got a few different one which this one that's darker and another that's lighter and more blue or green and the one we just created that's neutral and there we go now if i were to shoot tethered to scan my uh, or digitize my negatives i could simply go to that tab the, the one that allows you to capture 
and then go to next capture adjustment and change styles under styles instead of none you're gonna want to select user style and then the one you just created so then uh the next picture you're gonna grab with your camera tethered to capture one uh, the style is going to apply right away if you do not have a usb cable you can always um, apply the style when importing the picture from your sd or cf card and that will do the trick if you've got any questions regarding today's video please feel free to leave them in the comment box below don't forget to subscribe to the channel and until next time have a great day bye